This is a demonstration of how to add a scrolling text, a ticker, across the bottom of the program module in VidBlaster. We're using VidBlaster version 2.20, the current beta, and we've loaded the default profile on the screen. We're going to include a text ticker, which is not part of VidBlaster, but something that you can get from Slashback Associates at slashbackassociates.com. And we've preloaded it with a text file that we created in Notepad that talks about, well, our show. And the text says, watch the next episode of That Fid Blaster Guy, July 31st, Tuesday at 3 p.m. Eastern. So that's going to scroll across the bottom in an endless loop. And you can change the background, you can change the foreground color, you can change the font size. But for now, we'll leave it like that. Now, in order to uh, pull it into VidBlaster, we need to add one more module. So we'll go to Modules, Add, and we'll slide down to Video Effect. And it pops a Video Effect module, and we'll scroll, slide it out here to the right. And then we'll come back to our Camera module, and we want to tell it that we want to capture some screens. So we'll drop down the box, and there at the very bottom it says Screen Capture. Now we need to tell it what part of the screen we want to capture, so right-click in that module and scroll down to Capture, and we have several options. We can select any area, an area with a 1-1 ratio, an area with a 4-3 ratio, an area with a 16-9 ratio, or the full screen. For this demonstration, we're going to select Select Area. That way we can select just the ticker. So we'll come down here and we'll do sort of a, a paint and we'll come to the very end right there. And you can see that we've got it in our camera module. Now it's wide and not very tall and it doesn't look much like a ticker we want to use, but it's a start. So let's slide over to our video effect module and we'll select that camera one as our second source. And just for the sake of, uh, of this demonstration, we're going to select the player two module as our main source. So we'll say player 2 module. And we need to tell it what we want. Well, we want a PIP, a picture-in-picture -picture fixed aspect ratio. So now we have player 1 as our main source. And then our PIP here, our picture-in-picture, -picture, is camera 1. And what we want to do is go ahead and make this a little larger so that we can possibly see it. And I'm going to go ahead and transfer everything in the video effect module into the program module, which is where it would stream or record. And I'll click the cut button, or I could click the trans button, either one. And then I want to uh, crop this just a little bit, because we don't need all that extra black there. And let's crop it just a little bit on the left side. And then we'll pull it down in position, and I'll just use the bottom right-hand corner. And then we'll crop it just a tad more till that's about right there. And we have got a text ticker in VidBlaster. It's that simple. Now the software that I've used for this, of course, is VidBlaster version 2.0 and text ticker by Slashback Associates. This has been a demonstration from that VidBlaster guy. You can watch us Tuesdays at 3 p.m. Eastern at thatvidblasterguy.com or you can catch us video on demand in our archives. Thanks for tuning in.